and welcome to our channel. It's Divine Daily Goddess 717 and I am here today to do our home channel daily message. The extended off of the short that I put up earlier, I put them up for both premieres. Please check them out if you have not after we finish the video. Um, make sure you like, share, and subscribe our tribe as well. Uh, or share the shorts as well too for us so that we can expand and get this message out to whoever needs to hear it i thank you guys so much for being here if you're new welcome 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 all the book goodies i thank you so much for your love and your loyalty we're going to go over everything at the end this video here will go into our um extended reading which is on patreon okay so let's get started y'all okay so what we have here whoo Overall energy is deceit, okay? We got some serious deception. The devil is the overall energy for this reading, okay? We have community in reverse. Somebody went towards a community, and some seekers are coming out in this community, okay? About somebody, okay? Some seekers. A, a karma community is releasing some seekers here about someone. Somebody has some karma coming up here when it comes to the courthouse. Somebody's going to jail, Okay? Somebody got some serious courthouse issues coming up. With uh, it's not it's not gonna work in their favor and reverse it at all either. Okay, so there's some type of bad adjudication, some bad judgment, some karma coming back on somebody here when it comes to the courthouse here. Measures of concern in reverse. It's somebody's in despair. Okay, about this situation. This imprisonment can be an imprisonment in a community or imprisonment in jail. It looks like prison. Somebody going to jail. And why? They're in despair about it, okay? Or oh, what brought them to this point? They're in despair about it. It's heavy pain this person's going through. The issue is with the deception. This is a what goes around comes around type of deception. We have revenge and handcuffs is what the title is about. I titled it that because of what I felt from the energy here. This is about revenge that was taken upon someone who was innocent, okay? Um, had nothing to do with the situation. And what it did was it unfolded some serious karma for somebody because they were in the, they ended up being deceived as well. So it's a what goes around comes around situation. Somebody's in deep sadness, rock bottom mentality and deep sorrow, depression, settling in, they crying over you, okay? This is somebody who took revenge against you, but it was wrong for revenge, okay? This person is in very deep despair and in pain right now because they listen to some delusional liars, okay? We have delusional, fantasizes about being with you, makes up uh, scenarios in their head, um, tells others made up stories about you, thinks that you want them um, just as bad. And then we have pathological liar. Low self-esteem, living a double life, lies about even the smallest things and lying to boost their ego. So this person turned against you, this person lied about you, but they linked up with liars too and they were all talking and enjoying and a community of just talking trap about you and um, making your life a living hell in some senses. But a lot of this was done behind your back and it was pouring into your life as negative energy, okay? But this situation here is about to be exposed, okay? Because somebody knows the truth now. Yep, somebody sees that they were played here by delusional liars and because they were a delusional liar when it came to how they felt about you and who you were in their life. We got obsessive thinking here. Somebody overanalyzing, overthinking, and stressed out because they chose people over you. Sidelined. Wow, you married someone else. Why in a long-term relationship with me? This person was living a double life. They had you and someone else. They had two relationships. This person, we had an eight of cups twice, okay, is what God is showing me. Somebody had two fully invested connections. They were living a straight double life. They had a family over here and a family over here, okay? They ended up choosing someone over you, okay? So leaving you out in the cold. You want to come back, boy, bye, okay? Um, this is what's going on. This person stressed out because they want to come back towards you. Mm -hmm. They're overthinking. They, they're overanalyzing. They're overthinking because there's some type of tower betrayal coming down against them, and they need you. Mm -hmm. Tower moment. Child, when God moved people out of the way, let them go. Betrayal. This person thinks that you're not going to let them back in, 
or and this person also wants to run towards you because of a betrayal that's coming down in their life right now this person's in heavy despair that's what we have here let's get started Whew. Mm. what is deep sadness father yep this person is deeply sad for betraying you like i said yep this person they betrayed you this person put ten swords in your back and you were innocent and they're just they're in despair about it now because they see now that you had nothing that you did not deserve an inch of what they gave you mm -mm. this person was used to doing this to people this is how they this is they, this person's very much wounded so they would hurt people before they hurt them and it took the same approach with you. You guys gave them genuine love and care and nurture. You really cared about this person from a very genuine place. And this person, they were not used to that. This, that gives no excuse. But this person, because of how they felt inside about you, they put up a, 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 a nasty, deceitful guard against you. Mm-hmm. Yep. What is revenge? Yep. So they tried to slay you. This person tried to slay you. This person one up you. But this is a double-edged sword because it came back to bite them. This person had revenge towards an innocent person. This is 15 swords. This person that betrayed you, which made a 555 negative change. What's delusional? Yep. They were delusional to think their ships would come in and they would not receive their karma back. What is delusional? What is pathological liar? Yep, this person is the king of pentacles in reverse. This person um, committed to the wrong situation here. This person was very corrupt. This person was a liar. They lied about their feelings. They lied about how they felt about you. They turned their back on you. They betrayed your trust. They betrayed your loyalty. This person was dishonorable. They dishonored their connection. They dishonored whoever you were. Whatever revenge that you had on you, you did not do anything to um, receive it. This person was supposed to commit to you, but they wanted a lot of themselves, okay? So they attacked you so they can live the life they wanted to live. That's what happened here. And it backfired because they got tied up with somebody else, a community, a, a liar of community of uh, karma connections, karma community. Mm -hmm. And they're under judgment for how they did you. Now they're going through the same karma. They're in despair. Somebody's facing some jail time here. We got 5 and 11. 5 plus 11 is what? 16. Mm -hmm. This is a destined change here. Yeah. What is obsessively thinking? They're thinking about you. What did I say? You guys work together. Right next to each other. Now on the other end, you were loyal. You were honorable. You had integrity. You loved this person. You had their back. You guys were supposed to build an empire together. This person turned their back on you. Mm-hmm. They dishonored the connection. You guys are married. Divine counterparts. Yep, this person lied about who you were to them. Yep. Like I told you guys, that this person had a look, was living a double life. You guys, um... And they got caught up in some type of way where they had to make a decision. And when they made a decision, they made the wrong decision, which caused them to have karma. Yeah, that's judgment. The judge adjudication card is judgment. You have a decision to make. This person made the wrong judgment. Now they're, stopped, they're stuck and trapped in their head about you because they now see who you are. Mm -hmm. This person knew who you were before, but they, they now see clearly who you are because they were played too. They, they were in some type of delusion, too, with whoever they betrayed you with. But now they're being, they're now the revenge they sent out to you, they're getting it back from this delusional people here. Or person. Mm-hmm. What is sidelined? Yep. What's sidelined here? Yep, they blocked you out. They blocked, this person had to make a decision. This person made the wrong decision. It looked like somebody got caught up here, living a double life. And if they were in a relationship with someone else, and they were lying to you, and you guys thought that you guys were together, or you guys were building towards being together, or whatever this is here, God brought you into this person's life because you were their divine partner. This person knew who you were. 
they felt the connection just like you did. But this person blocked you out for the situation. They sidelined you for somebody else, which who ended up being their revenge for how they treated you. You see what I'm saying? If you get me. What's the tower moment here? They were betrayed. A tower of betrayal is coming down. Yep. What did I say? Lord God is coming in to correct the situation. This is karma. God gave this person enough time to change. Whatever happened in this situation, this person prolonged, they stretched it out. And the more, the more that they, the reason why there's so many swords in your back is because the more this, this person knew the truth. They knew who you were. And yet they still stayed. Every time they stayed in this connection with this person they sidelined you for, they blocked you out for, they put more knives in your back. So God is coming in to stop the situation and bring it down and clear your name, clear whatever was, was tainted in the situation. Any deception that was here is being cleared. And the, the people that were involved or whatever happened in the situation here is coming down. That's what's going on here. Let's betray. Yep. But I say deception. Somebody was deceived. They got betrayed. So whatever this person's outcome is, whatever they're going through right now, they, they this is what what goes around comes around. They couldn't see that they were being betrayed too. Whatever situation that they put you before you, but this person had a double life. They had two relationships. They had a lot of secrets. This person had many masks. So whatever whatever they were betraying you with, whatever was the deception in the situation. This person was being deceived too because they could not see behind the moon that they were being played and set up. Now they're sitting in despair because somebody's about to go to jail for something here. You see the courthouse, the adjudication, and there's somebody going to jail. They were set up in a situation here. They were played. This person was used as a scapegoat here. They betrayed their lover. You were the actual lover. You guys are divine counterparts. It keeps it said it twice now. Divine counterparts, divine counterparts. You got this person, they, they betrayed their love of their life. This is this is the angel that, that put God assigned this angel to bring this connection together. This person was blessed. Yeah, they were given true love. It's true love. When you say you need me like I need you. And you can't be without me like I can't be without you. It's true love. Yes. Aw. You guys had a bond here. Well, we spend time talking on the phone, and when we're not around each other, we don't want to be alone. It's true love. That's what this is. Uh-huh. They know it now. That's why they crying. Yep. True love is never, ever making you cry before I tell you a lie. I give my life because that's true love. This person betrayed the love of their life. Yep. And they know it now. That's revenge. Yep. Ain't the swords. This person could have left you stuck in your head and defeated you or tried to set you up. Some of you guys went to jail. This person put you in jail for something, for a lie. Yeah, for something you had nothing to do with. And now they're about to go to jail for some revenge that they were played. Yeah, the delusion of, they thought their ships were going to come in. The ships that are coming in is what goes around, comes around. What's delusional? Yep, what did I say? They thought that shit was going to come in in a karmic connection. Four, a four of wands, there was no stability in the situation they left you for. They rejected their twin flame for a path of destruction and revenge. Yep, that's what happened here. What is delusional? What's pathological liar? Yep. They regret it. This person regrets. They regret it. This person regrets committing because whoever, this is a king of pentacles in reverse, which means, and you're upright, which means you were the true wife. Flip it how you need to. But I'm saying what's on the board. You were the true wife to this person, the Queen of Pentacles. Whoever they went towards, it was a false connection. A false twin flame connection here. Which means there was some manipulation. This person thought that they were with their true twin. Nope. Deception. Deceit. They were not. This Whoever they were with wanted to keep them wrapped up and bound away from their actual twin. So that you guys would not come into union. The devil sends people in to, do, to to keep divine partnerships and connections apart. So whoever this karmic was, this false this false person that they went towards, whoever this person was, or this false community, because there was a community attached to the karmic who was working with the karmic to keep your person blindfolded. Whoever this, these people were, they were assigned by the devil to do it. Yep, and this person was supposed to be loyal and honorable to you no matter what. 
now they're stressing over they're over analyzing in their head and stressed out yeah about you because they love you and they want you back and they want to commit now this person wants you to be their wife or their husband take care of them. i'm gonna say wife because that's what we see this person wants you to be their wife what's obsessive thinking if it's a man tap to it how you need to yep this person don't want to fight anymore five of wands here their guard is down. They're vulnerable. And whatever they sent out to you or lied on you about, it came back with what you with read what you saw. Yeah, this person going through conflict. They're fighting with a lot of people. Everything is going, is, is like an uproar around this person right now. They're being betrayed left and right. Yeah, they are. The truth is coming. It's unveiled. Yep. Conflict is all on back. If they're in a connection with somebody, they fight with this person all the time. And this person is, is in this person sees them as an enemies. That's what they were the whole time. So they're showing that they're enemies now. Whoever they chose over you is, is showing they have shown their face that they're the actual enemy. What did I say here? This person blocked you out. Who your emperor? Yeah, this person blocked you out. They went towards the wrong connection. Mm-hmm. And as the, the emperor in reverse is very selfish. The emperor in reverse, they went towards the situation thinking that they had children in the situation as well. And they did not. Well, they sidelined you for a fairy tale. They blocked you out for a lie. They were actually your emperor. Mm -hmm. You guys actually have children together too. If you have not, you were supposed to in this life. Take it however it resonates. This person blocked you out for a false connection. They had a choice between the devil and God, and they chose the devil. They had a choice between a true connection and a karmic connection. They went towards the karmic connection. That's what happened here. What is the tower? What's the tower moment? Yep, what did I say? They have the tower moment that was supposed to commit to you, divine feminine. God never lies. They have the tower moment that they hurt, they divine feminine. They had a tower moment. They have the tower moment of who you truly were in their life. They have the tower moment. And God is bringing it in. God had you protected. Re rejection was God's protection. Yep. Well, who were they betrayed by? Who keep popping out? The whole witch. That's who betrayed them. They had a divine feminine and they chose the whole witch. Who ended up betraying them. This person was walking around with a knife behind their back the whole time. Yep. Deception behind the moon. Deceiving them from this whole connection was a deception. This person wanted your life. They wanted to be you. They wanted to come off like they were you so they can get what you guys were supposed to have. This person's sadness and crying because they did not turn or walk away from the situation here. What is the, um, yep, page of pentacles. This person didn't have integrity towards you. What did I say? This person betrayed you and they're hurt because of the, they put revenge on you for no reason. And they gave, let me, let me tell you what else happened here. They, if this person, whoever this person is, which is a, it's a, it's a king of pentacles in reverse, you guys are a divine match. Okay? This person, they worked with the whole witch or people in the community against you with dark divination to, can, to keep you entrapped in your head and, and defeat you. This person was betraying you. They put revenge on you for absolutely no reason when there was no reason to do that with the page of pentacles here. When this person walked away from you or betrayed you that you were in the time of need financially, <clears throat> that was that was all planned. That was done purposely. Okay? The situation here with this situation here with this person, this is why they're sitting in deep sadness. Because when they dissed you, they dissed themselves. And they kept cutting you. They kept this the attack did not just happen once. They kept attacking you. Okay? And the, the page of the page of pentacles in reverse is dark this dark tarot. Okay, it's, it's dark tarot because it's the intention behind the tarot cards. The card is not a devil; it's the intention. And that there was this person here signed on with the devil. Whoever this whole witch was was the devil. You see how you're of God, because you got God right up under you. He had your back. They had you covered the whole time. They just couldn't see it. He lets people hang themselves. It's what God let the situation fall like the way like it did. This person's in deep sadness and sorrow for how they did you. They are. This person having a rough time here. Yep. Because they left you behind. They left you stuck in your head and, and started a new cycle, which means they was not coming back. They made their decision. They thought this person was truly their twin flame. Mm -hmm. This karmic made this person believe they were truly their twin flame. What is the five of cups here? Yep, when they were nothing but what? A third party. Look at God. Speak, Father. Speak. Thank you, Jesus. You better speak. You better come through, Father God. Yes, I love it. 
and every word I say, this that thought this person was a twin flame, they were nothing but the third party. That's why they're in deep despair. This person did not commit to their wife. They chose wrong. They saw they had two connections. This person had eight cups. Could you got eight cups and eight cups? The eight of cups. When some, when somebody has the eight of cups here, they walk away. I showed you guys the eight of cups earlier. You're walking away from eight cups. Invested. That's eight out of ten, which ten is wish fulfillment. You guys had eight cups, which is actually gonna take you to the true wish fulfillment. If this person would have just gave two more cups, they would have had everything they ever asked for. The King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is bosses. This is a true boss connection. So all the money this person was chasing was with you. All the love they were chasing was with you. All the good sex they were chasing was with you. All the happiness they were chasing with you. The good, the good health. Everything that they were chasing was with you. And they left you to go into a cycle of hell with a third party coming off like they were you that's what happened here yes why because not a wise this person was in lustful yep they were lustful in this situation they were they had third parties they had threesomes and orgies and all that stuff in this connection here yep instead of committing to you they thought that they, uh, they thought that twin flight God don't allow a third party connection I'm going to tell y'all something the third party is a devil. Deceit coming in. A union. If you're a true twin flame, this is this person's true twin flame. Ain't no third parties coming between that connection here. Having threesomes is inviting the devil into your bedroom. Okay? That's what's going on here. This stuff is biblical. These divine connections are very much biblical. People got to wake up and see. Why do you think after people have threesomes and orgies with other couples and other people, why their relationships fall apart? Because somebody always end up what? Deception. Cheating again. Because you let the devil in your bedroom. So there's, so if this person was having threesomes and orgies with this third party here, this karmic, which was a third party, this was a karmic connection. It was not of God. Your person treated you, when you guys were together, your person treated you like you were a flower. Because they didn't know who you were. They didn't want nobody else to have you. This person wanted you to stay in the closet and shh, stay here in the box. I'm put my diamond in the closet and lock it away in a vault. Nobody going to see it. But this person dogged you out behind your back. And it blew up. Mm -hmm. If you guys wonder why this person left you, you guys were building a family or had a family or had, uh, had things you guys were working towards, building your life together, this is why. Mm-hmm. What else is going on here? Give me some more. Yeah, what did I say? Now this person here is in their head. They they were played with spell work to go towards this situation with this whole witch. This whole witch put conflict magic and used sex lustful energy to get this person. They knew this person was weak in their loins. Mm-hmm. They used sex to get them. That's what they did. Your person was very easily swayed by orgasm. Mm-hmm. Boom, tower. Now God is about to blow the tower. We got double tower here. Look at this. Look at God. Tower of truth. This is heavy tower. This is heavy, y'all. A double tower. When it comes to divine family, God don't play about, that, about his divine ones, especially when you're obedient and you do your work. That's why I tell you guys, obedience is key. Because he take care of you. You're talking to somebody who live it every day. I'm telling you. These whole witches can never trump Jesus. When you walk in with, with, with God. As a divine feminine. And it's always going to come back. Trust me. Vengeance is mine says the Lord. I have never took vengeance on anybody or anything in my situation. I let God handle it. And when I tell you what he do with the best. Don't nobody touch you better than the Lord. Let him do it. Don't focus on who going to get they what. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, you ain't got to worry about that. You got it from the horse's mouth, mine. Because I walked it. And vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I'm telling you guys the truth here. I lived it. I'm living it right now. Yeah, what I tell you? The tower's coming in on who the, who's the what? Let me see. Well, 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 what I say? I said eight cups. What I say? This person invested in, this person had two eight of cups, correct? They chose the wrong one. We're about to creep it on in. 
What did I say earlier, y'all? We said, bam, ten of cups. Did I say that? This person chose the wrong one. They chose this one in reverse. No wish fulfillment. When the divine feminine was what? The actual true ten of cups. They were deceived by a whole witch to believe that they were the ten of cups. Which means that children are not theirs as well. And this is what? Karma for them working against you and, de and defeating you. That's what this is. This person trying to defeat you and betraying you. They knew after a certain point, this person knew that they were they were wronging you. They were they're supposed to make it right. And they did not. So now it turned into karma. Because they didn't know that they were being deceived either with spell work. If you guys divine kind of parts is karmic and whoever this community is that they were working with, these people were working against y'all with divination. They were peeking in on your life. I'm telling you what I know. This happened to me in high school. We were kids. And this has been going on that long in my life. And I'll be 42 in November. My masculine is whole witch. And her family, her community of worker, of, of witches, they worked, they did divination on us while we were in school. We were kids. They knew who we were. They knew our whole, they, they knew our whole everything. Because they, they knew what they wanted. They had to get him to turn and then uh, infect us. You see what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, this stuff is coming down real. And the lot, and don't worry about the year. Time is an illusion. So these karmas gonna get clocked for everything they did. See, this is this person. Your punish. Their person's getting punished. Yes, but their punishment is divinely guided. I mean, by the Lord. This karmic situation, this devil energy here is coming down in a whole nother way. That's karma, and it will be everlasting. So every single thing that was taken from you guys, this karmic, they, they stole happiness, they stole your life, they stole your, your time, they stole a lot, your money, they stole all of that. It's coming back, y'all. Okay? You're talking to somebody who knows, because I'm living it. The key is to be for you to focus on your path and heal. Because your reward is abundance. Your reward is karma, is justice. Trust me. If y'all want these karmas to get theirs, you need to heal and do your work and be obedient to God because he got you. He got you covered. I'm telling you guys, I know. Yep, this the situation here. The, this person went to another cycle. Why? When I say because of threesomes and orgies and stuff. Somebody has some wounding. Yep. That's why they left you behind. They betrayed you for their loins. This person was very much wounded in their sexual energy. And they were deceived in their sexual energy because you were supposed to heal it. Divine feminine will never cross someone. Will never go behind somebody's back and talk about them when they got healing. Because divine feminine is compassionate, loving, nurturing. Will never hurt you. If you hurt divine feminine, divine feminine will walk away to go heal. She will not revenge on you. And that's why the situation is going the way it's going. This third party took it, gave this person threesomes and orgies and everything. We got two threes here. There's a lot of third party situations going on in this situation here. Now, what kind of twin flame connection will have this much third party energy? None. Why do you think twins got to gotta break off? Why do you think God separate twins? When there's toxicity involved. I know every time me and my master would get into it. And because of some mess with third party. He would break us up. We wouldn't see each other for months. Sometimes years. He will split us off. God don't play when it's a divine connection. Everything's divinely guided. By this person here. Lord God. Lord God. And somebody thought they were God. And they're about to find out they're not. What else we got going on here? Yeah, what did I say? They left you out in the cold because of what? A third party lied. It was financial. This third party wanted the finances. So this third party, this third party played on this person's sexual energy. They knew this person was weak in their loins. What they say? I make a weak in the knees. This person was weak in their loins. Not in other ones. Yeah, what did I say? Whew. This person treated you like a mistress they treated their queen of pentacles their wife like a mistress 
If you're the high priestess, you guys warn this person about this situation here. Or you're just intuitive, very intuitive, but you warn this person. You could be a Scorpio or a Pisces as well. We have imbalance. This person is mentally unstable. Yep, because they now realize what they did. Mm-hmm. This person is mentally unstable. And they, this this karmic here, this hope, which is also mentally unstable because everything's going back in this situation too. But this person losing their mind for how they did you. This person's weak in their mind. Yeah, for how they did you. They losing it. What's the tower here? Yep. God dismantled the coven. Dismantle. 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 Nothing's working anymore. Tower. The coven's dismantled. And it's also a tower of truth about who you were to this person, that you were not a third party. It's also a tower in the situation when it comes to children, that this whole witch don't know who the daddy is. The truth is coming out, y'all. Uh-huh. What is the um, Ten of Cups and Deception here? Yep. This person was deceived. Look. This person was deceived not to walk away from a whole witch who was nothing but karma. That's what happened here. They were deceived. Look at God. Bam! Deceived again. We got deception one, two, three times. Look at God. Bam! Thank you, Father. Once more. Deception is the last card. Lying, cheating, and stealing is what this whole situation was about. And you were a innocent victim. Truly a victim. Now, you don't have the right to act like a victim. You're not, you were victimized, though. It's not what happens. It's what you do about it. I'm telling you. Trust God. Amen. What we got, Father? What else we got, Father, going on with the situation here? Who child. Mm -hmm. The situation is shattered. Now somebody is ashamed. Somebody had was a fling here. The situation, this person left you and left you went to a new cycle because of they were bisexual. And this karmic promised them orgies, threesomes. They had all that with this person. This karmic set them up real bad. This person set them up. They took pictures and videos of this person having sex with, um, if it's a man, he had sex with a man. They got proof of it. They've been sharing that proof with people. Mm hmm Somebody been leaking somebody's stuff. This person, they losing everything. Everybody turned on this person because the community that they were in, the, even if they were dealing with these people, keep coming up. If they were dealing with these people sexually, having or orgies and all that stuff with these people, this karmic, whoever they chose, this whole witch, still released information on this person, pictures and videos. If your person let, if your person ever crossed you with videos and pictures and text messages, is this coming back out on this person here? Yeah, it is. What else is going on here? What did I say? Spell work. They played them. They left you out in the cold due to spell work. This karmic, this third party, this person treats you like a third party due to spell work. They went towards third parties due to their sexual loins, but it was sex magic, spell work. Mm hmm. What is the, um, the, the not a, yeah, what did I say? Pretend. I have a pretend for connection. This person's in deep regret for that. This person thought that they had found the love of their life, but they did. They just chose the wrong one and had two, they had a choice between two, the lover's card. And they chose wrong. They betrayed the wrong person. Yep. And now they're in debt. They indebted in more ways than one. What else we got going on here? Look, a tower of evidence is coming out. Who child. Mm, what else we got for the other side, Father? Yep, what did I say? Reckless sex. This situation was all about recklessness when it comes to love making and sex. The people did not, it wasn't sacred. It was dark. It was a lot of unsanitary stuff going on here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hmm. It's all because somebody made a bad decision to choose a whole witch over divine feminine. That's what happened here. This recklessness, evidence of recklessness is coming out on both sides. This whole sit this whole this two towers here. So it's a tower for your person and for the karmic community that crossed them. Yep, because it's time for what? A new beginning.
in order for a new beginning to happen, these endings have to come down. That's what we got going on here, y'all. We're going to take this over to Patreon. <laughs> Woo, T, I tell ya. We're going to take this over to Patreon. Um, if you guys like to join us over there, we have, uh, you, you have the link to both channels. Say first channel with my hand like this and second channel. Okay, you click on the link, go over to the about section, which is the last tab on the channel. Go down, you'll see Patreon. Click Patreon. You have two different tiers you can choose from. The second one is the bundle, which carries everything. 144K with chat membership, okay? Um, and um, four extended readings, okay? That's what we got. Yeah. If you guys like the channels over there, just um, go, and you can also go back and watch videos too. Mm -hmm. Or if you just want the 144K, if that's the first tier, it's 530 a month. Okay, you guys will have the the um, your your divine masculine professions is tonight. Okay, so don't check to check that out till you guys get four videos today. Yeah. I thank you guys so so much. If you guys have uh, need a booking, I do. I am taking bookings. Two questions for fifteen dollars. If you guys need an ASAP, add two bucks. Add ten bucks to that. I'll get it to you within forty eight to, to seventy two hours. Um, sorry about that retrograde. But um, yes, we have two special readings on sale. You guys got two more days for the price. Okay, raw truth is on sale. Regular price seventy dollars. It's on sale for fifty five dollars this month. Okay, and then we have the spiritual warfare, which is on sale. Regular price seventy-seven seventy-seven. It's on sale for sixty-five dollars this month. You guys got two more days to book by eleven fifty-nine p.m. on the thirtieth. Okay, um, all readings are able to be put on a payment plan if you need a payment plan, except for the emergency readings. If there is something that you need to have a question with, have a question for with me about, please email me. Okay, if there's any confusion, email me so I can help you out. Okay. Um, If you guys have blessings and tokens for the channel, please, uh, please, if you guys send anything through PayPal or Cash App and it's a gift, please say DAG is a gift. So I won't be um, look waiting on you to um, book your reading, okay? <laughs> um, my PO box is below too for gifts as well. I thank you guys for everything. I love you so much. These this, these endings are happening. You guys been waiting on them. They're happening. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you they're happening. Okay, because I'm my Ace of Pentacles. I just received my Ace of Pentacles. I, I just started living my Ace of Pentacles. So I know they're coming in because I'm living it. When I tell you I'm living it, I don't tell you nothing that I don't know. God tells, he sits me here as a vessel to show you this, that, that all this is possible because I'm living it. Okay, and when he has something for you, nobody can't take it from you. If they, He gives them the illusion that they did, but they did not. And they're all about to find out just how much they didn't. And, and everybody's gonna find out the truth about who you actually were. You don't have to worry about none of that. God gonna do. He's a he's a vindicator. Yes, he's a justice keeper. Yes, and he has your back. Rejection is God's protection in that moment, so he can handle your business for you. Remember that. Okay. I love you guys so much, and I will see you back here on Friday. Namaste.